praise the Lord. Today, February 21st, we'll talk about slothfulness. This is also one of the deadly sins. Proverbs 21-25 says, The desire of the lazy man kills him, for his hands refuse to labor. The definition of slothfulness is a disinclination to action or labor, sluggishness, laziness, idleness, and indolence. In Bible language, it adds up inactivity in the practice of Christianity. Spiritual laziness is not only a sin against God, it is a sin against yourself. It is a destroyer of opportunity and a murder of souls. The slothful man is like driftwood floating downwards with the current, effortlessly and heedlessly, going along with the crowd. Many people are fighting, losing battles spiritually, not because they are bad, but because they are spiritually slothful, sleepy and drowsy. That is why Paul says in Ephesians 5.14, Awake you who sleep, arise from the dead, and Christ will give you light. We have to be aware of this. Many people have lost their health and life too, since they were too lazy to take care of themselves. The chief sin of the foolish virgins was not immorality, lying or cheating, but slothfulness. They simply neglected to provide themselves with oil, but instead they slept. When the bridegroom came, the door of opportunity slammed shut, and the voice of God echoed in judgment, I know ye not, Matthew 25:12. Don't let this happen to you. God will disown us if we are slothful. That is what uh, uh, this uh, incident in Matthew 25 teaches us. Slothfulness is a destroyer in, destroyer in everyday life. There are several things that are left undone every day. There are thousands who are slothful about church going since they want to sleep late on a Sunday morning. <clears throat> Many are slothful about praying, Bible reading and witnessing. They won't even make an attempt to spread the gospel. Eternal life is within reach. Reach out now. Paul, uh, for the several days, we have become lazier because of uh, lockdown. During the corona time, we learned not to go to church. We are too lazy to go. King Solomon in Proverbs wrote a lot about slothfulness. The one I like best is in 6.6. Go to the ant, you sluggard, consider its ways and be wise. We should uh, notice how hard the ant works to get his food. So, if a small ant can do so much of work, why can't we? Let's pray. Please, Lord, remove this slothfulness from us and help us to be more active in our spiritual life. In Jesus' precious name I ask. Amen. God bless you.